Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today I'm going to answer the question, what does three-point floating control mean? With VAV boxes, the actuators and hot water valves are usually three-point floating control. So what does it mean? It's basically what the name says. You use three points to provide floating control. Today, most VAV boxes have a single controller actuator assembly. But when I first started at Titus, the controllers and the actuators were usually two separate pieces, and you had to wire the controller to the actuator. On these separate actuators, it was easy to see what three-point floating control was. So let's draw a controller and an actuator and wire them up. So here's the controller. And we'll just put a couple outputs right here. And then here's an actuator. Draw on the damper shaft. So the damper would come through right here. So the actuator would have three terminals. One for clockwise rotation. one for counterclockwise rotation, and a common. So these are your three points. So you had to wire a 24 volt output from the controller to the clockwise rotation terminal on the actuator, one from the common to the common, and another from 24 volt to the counterclockwise rotation on the actuator. Now if you energize these two, the 24 volt on the clockwise and the common, it would turn clockwise or open. And if you energize these two, the common and the other 24 volt that's connected to the counterclockwise, it would rotate counterclockwise and close the damper. The 24 volt signal would be sent to the actuator as long as the thermostat was calling for more or less air in the space. So the actuator would float between open and closed to maintain comfort in the space. This concept works the same for water valves and other three-point control devices. So that's three-point floating control. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.